other types of other income can be. And sometimes you're going to see on when you get some information, uh, financial statements from, uh, from your sellers, they're going to show things like, hey, I charged a fee for a lost key, or I charged a fee for late rent, or I charged a fee for non-sufficient funds, they bounced a check, right? These are all fees that get generated. Now, you can decide how you want to run yours, and that's fine. Uh, some appraisers are going to util be, will be willing to utilize those extra fees. Some property owners make all their money on these extra junk fees. But when I underwrite a deal, I don't use any of those fees. I expect my property management company to do a good job and collect the rents on time, just like I expect my tenants to pay on time. And so if I have to count on my tenants being bad tenants for me to make a dollar, that's not how I want to run my life or my business, right? I like when people do what they say they're going to do. So I would want that for my tenants. Even though I know that not all of them will, I don't want to count on my profit coming from other people not doing what they said they're going to do. Does that make sense? So I don't use lies. I will never put those other junk fees in the underwriting when I'm underwriting a deal. But I will put laundry. You can put vending machines. These are all, by the way, other ways to create income um, on your property by putting uh, you know, paid laundry machines. And now that we have like card swipes and stuff like that, which, is, which are super cool, and uh, vending machines. And you can maybe sometimes add storage in the parking garage or parking lots and rent those out as extra. So you can add those as all um, other income that are very positive and, and can actually, I mean, all those dollars drop right to the bottom line. Mm -hmm.